My friend Sara's an archaeologist. She works near here. You want to go see if she knows anything about your riddle? That would be great. The stone faces have always been Sara's obsession. Most people come here looking for treasure, but not Sara. She just wants answers. Have you been friends a long time? Since we were kids. She was the nerd. I was always skipping school and stealing my grandma's RV. Once in a while. Espere. ¿Usted es la tal Lara? Croft? I am. La reconozco por la foto. ¿Qué es lo que busca en este lugar? I'm following a riddle. The heart of the serpent is in the cup near the many stone faces. ¿Los rostros de piedra? Estoy aquí por lo mismo. I don't want to step on your toes. It's the serpent in the cup I'm really looking for. Bueno, puedo decirle que han estado aquí por lo menos 400 años. Según documentos de la biblioteca, son guardianes. La leyenda dice que custodian una cripta secreta. A crypt? Nunca nadie la ha encontrado. Como se imaginará, eso es lo que vuelve locos a los cazadores de tesoros. Pero si la infame Lara Croft es tan lista como dicen, bueno, si logra encontrarla, me haría un favor. You think I should start at the library? Sí, está por el cementerio. Es uno de los edificios más antiguos de aquí. No olvide darme crédito si encuentra algo. Thank you. I will. Abby's friend mentioned a crypt somewhere around the library. I'll meet you there. So there's a crypt around here somewhere? A secret crypt. Why secret? If Lopez is involved, there's bound to be a trick. That's a solid theory. What about you? Did you find anything? I got a pamphlet. Seven steps closer to God. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it'll help. Strange, there are only seven stations. This must be based on an older tradition. Jesus takes up the cross, falls the first time, meets his mother. Then Veronica wipes his face before he falls the second time. Then he is crucified and finally entombed. Feels like a mausoleum. Mm, means we're on the right track, right? Jonah, I feel something. We're getting close. Let's look around for signs of Lopez. These notes were written by the founder of the Sector 7. <laughs> This cross, it looks like it's from the 17th century. The door closed and a silence settled. So great and so vast, I held my breath for fear of breaking it. Lopez turned to me, his eyes wild, a smile screwed across his face. He came toward me, arms outstretched, and for a moment, fear flickered across my heart. But he pulled me close, his fingers digging into my shoulders. I found it, he whispered in my ear, and releasing me, he wandered through this room, walls of pure jade reaching up to the heavens, completely covered in intricate etched mosaics and carved figures. I followed at a distance as he approached an altar and watched as he lifted a silver box from it. <laughs> the 
The others are worried that brothers de la Cruz and Serrano will not return. I have so far maintained they will, that they always have. But in my heart, I am beginning to believe we have seen the last of them, and that grief weighs heavily. We will continue their work. Either they will return to find we have not forgotten the teachings, or they will look down on us from above and bless our continued labors. his wings you may seek refuge under his wings Twenty-sixth of December, 1603. Lopez woke me, having already prepared a Spartan breakfast. This is where we were meant to be, he said, a cold determination in his voice, so very different from how he acted just the day before. I finished my meal as he spoke of holy retribution, how he had acted in error, but now God had put his hands on his shoulders and shown him the path to walk. We will spread the true word of God from this small mission, he said, pointing to an adobe building just beyond the stone faces. We will prepare the path for the chosen one to follow, for only he who does will be worthy of this box. Jonah, this book describes a stranger's arrival at the mission. He founded the Sect of Seven. Maybe that was Lopez. Like on the pamphlet. We must be getting close. We should keep looking. Son of Zebedee, one of Jesus' apostles, also called the beloved disciple. He and his brother, James, were known for their impetuousness and temper, which prompted Christ to start calling them Boanerges, sons of thunder. John is credited with writing five books of the New Testament, the Gospel of John, the three epistles of John, and the Book of Revelation. He's the patron saint of love and loyalty, as well as writers, publishers, and scholars. One of his symbols is a serpent in a cup, which is linked to his patronage of victims of poisoning and burns.
stone faces weep as Jesus creeps along the Dolores path. Too many died. More will still, and more will still, and more will still. His light leads the way. Twenty-fifth of December, 1603. It has been four days since we turned away from the city. We traveled in silence and in circles, guided by a confusion of grief, relief, and celebration. Lopez and I exited the jungle and landed in a clearing, under the gaze of several faces carved into the side of the mountain. Lopez had an episode, as he later called it. He threw himself in front of the faces and screamed for forgiveness. The heaviest sin on his heart was abandoning Perez to the strange warriors. They had grown close over the journey. Try as I might, I could not console him. So I built a fire and waited as he decreed his actions and pleaded for forgiveness from the silent stone faces. Under his wings, you may seek refuge. be darkened and the moon will not give its light. Jonah, those two Bible quotes, the sun will be darkened and under his wings you may seek refuge. What does it mean? That's it. Look for a heron and an eclipse. Crew 
Hebrews, the true cross. Is that what I think it is? The silver box. It's unmistakable. Jesus takes up the cross. These are the stations of the cross. But there's a bunch missing. Before 1600, there were only seven. This could date back to the time of Lopez. This is one of his clues. Yeah, it's the kind of thing he does. All right. Let's see if we can find a cross lying around here somewhere. When we find the box, how do we get the key back from the Dominguez? We'll find a way. Found something? Yeah. Jesus takes up the cross. Help me lift this. Looks like a long way down. Let's see where this leads. Two. Jesus falls the first time. There's an inscription here. Ambulate dum lucem habitis. Walk while you have the light. 